We just got a really nice motorhome on trade. This is a 3011 DS Forester by Forest River here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We're in southern Michigan. Uh, we are the largest independent dealer in the state. Generally have over 400 RVs in stock at a given time. Hitching, pieces, uh, financing, parts, everything. We do everything in one spot. Trades, obviously. That's what this was. This is a one owner. Um, the uh, Full disclosure, because I do believe in honesty in sales. Previous owner did smoke in the RV a little bit. You can detect it. I've definitely picked up worse. But I like you folks to know that, because for some people that's a really big deal. And I'd rather get the elephant out of the room before we get moving along. Um, all in all, though, I can't say too much to take away from this. It was very well kept. It was well maintained. Um, you know, kept very clean, and that's a big deal for me. You can just you can tell the folks that just take care of their investments versus the ones that don't. So often, you see that it does have a little bit of a wrap over roof line. If I uh, take a look up at the roof line up here, you see how that actually tapers over the side. That's a, a really neat structural thing because it moves that seam away from a high stress area to a low stress area for uh, better longevity. And if we look further down the RV, you'll see that max air roof vent cover up there. That's a nice thing that lets you keep the vents open in uh, adverse weather conditions. It's terribly, terribly windy right now. It's probably getting ready to storm on us, so hopefully that's not affecting the camera. Uh, this does have a true high gloss skin, which is a beautiful thing for a number of reasons. One, I mean, it looks amazing. You can clearly see the reflection there, but two, it's also very good for um, cleaning is just smoother, easier to clean. We do have an uh, Onan um, uh, quiet generator here. This is gas powered, 4000. Uh, so you can run your air going down the road, things like that. I cannot detect any sort of significant defects or seam failures. The tires are in excellent condition. Uh, I'll give you a quick close up of those here. You know, tires can be very expensive very quickly. So I like to make sure that you guys get to see that. It's kind of like me, you know, when I try to fix stuff in my house, it can get very expensive very quickly. This is a partial paint. If you, you can feel this right here, this is the fiberglass sidewall. This is actually a paint on top of that, whereas this is a decal. So you actually have several different things all going on at the same time here. Um, let me open this up. This does pass clear through the RV. It does go under the rear bed, so it gets a little shallow at one point, but it's perfect for like long stuff like picnic tables and whatnot. And there are drains down here, so if you do need to spray this thing out, no problem. The water can drain right away. These are fully laminated, which means they're insulated, which means you're not going to freeze at night because you're not going to lose all the heat from under your bed. Uh, roof ladder does give you access to a full walk-on roof. We talked about the max air cover up there. This is um, uh, hitched up and ready to go. Uh, I, I need to double check the tow capacity on this. Last I knew, Foresters carried a 5,000 pound tow capacity with a 500 pound tongue weight. That should still be uh, true. I haven't seen anything to tell me otherwise. Um, Every window, with the exception of this window back here <laughs> and the windshield, <laughs> uh, open for ventilation. You definitely don't want a ventilating windshield. That's bad news bears right there. Other side of that pass-through storage, and I like how these doors swing down. Because if they swung up, first of all, the slide-out would be in the way. Then you'd have to duck under everything because the door would be hitting you in the head. It swings down where it's easy to get to. Um, the uh, little outside entertainment center here, I should have opened that up. I've only got one hand, so it's a little tricky right now. But uh, it has little like TV hookups. You've got a little speaker set up there. It's very common in the industry and uh, still works very well to this day. Now, you can put a small trash can right here, and it actually can be accessible from inside or outside. Previous owners simply uh, preferred it for that extra storage space. It does have a, a single um, entry step right here, and uh, it does have a little bit lower ride, uh, I don't know, bucket type step, I guess you could call it. Not sure what the technical name for that would be. But it is very easy to get in and out of, so you don't have to worry about you know slipping and falling and all that. Let me uh, let's actually start from the front and work our way around. One neat thing on here is we actually have a little dimmer switch for the lights. So hey, I don't know, maybe the mood strikes you. Maybe you just want to dim the lights a little bit. Have at it. And if not, there you go. You got bright and dark just like normal. We do have storage all the way down this entire super slide, which is very nice because storage in a motorhome is. Well, like any RV, storage is, is a really important thing. And you can see that this is a real wood table. It's not a press board with Formica countertop. That's the real deal right there. That's a Vander Holyfield. Um, 
Both sides of the dinette have these big drawers that you can pull off for easy access to the storage. You notice how they're all plywood constructed. You're going to see a lot of that type of construction through this RV, and they have some pretty heavy-duty latches on there. Like I mentioned, previous owners were smokers, and I'm not going to uh, spend a whole lot of time talking about that, but I do want you guys to understand and know. Uh, this does have a soft-touch ceiling liner. If you look at my finger, it kind of sinks into the ceiling there when I push on it. That's doing a couple things for us teensy bit, teensy bit little more insulation. I'm not going to say that's going to make a huge difference, but um, it also uh, sound dampens in here. Um, by the way, this has two banks of lights. I only turned down the one because with enough windows, I think we're fine in here. Um, but uh, this, this does sound dampening. Like it's other than my annoying voice, you're probably not hearing much of anything else. Sofa can jack knife down into a little sleeper. And again, if you look right up close at your fabrics here, you can see it's used, not abused. You know, they, they did a great job taking care of it. I do like the inclusion of a ladder here to be able to get to this upper loft bunk uh, above the nose. Um, now the the overhead cab of a lot of Class C's traditionally have been the place you're going to find a leak. It's not if but when. Um, Forrester's done a very good job of uh, building this in a different way that is very um, preventative in that respect. Ooh, oh, owner's manuals. I like that. Anytime I can find all the original owner's manuals, that's something I like to see. That's another indicator that somebody took care of this thing. Now we do have a, a backup camera built right into the dashboard here, and that's also it's a touchscreen entertainment system as well. Um, oh, I forgot. Outside they put a multicolor um, uh, LED light strip under the awning. It can be like 16 different uh, solid colors and then a million combinations in between. Uh, we do have heated power side mirrors. If you look over here, you can see that controller right there. You can flip the heat on and off so that if you're getting out in the morning and it's frosty, you can get those mirrors defogged real quick and uh, you know turn them power-wise. Previous owner also has uh, a little leveling indicator right there. And uh, one of the reasons they did that is because they have an automatic leveling system put on this thing. So you could sit right in the coach and make sure that it's level. Um, oh, pardon me, pardon me. This is your entertainment center. I'm sorry. This is your backup camera. Uh, it just looks like a rear view mirror. It's very natural and organic. That's where you expect to see a rear view mirror. And, uh, you know, it, it makes perfect sense to look there if you're going to be backing up. Um, overhead here, right above us, we have a nice big max air vent fan. So we can get some excellent airflow going in here. Even if you're, uh, you know, you don't want to run the generator just on house batteries, you can get some good cooling effect. Big TV directly across from the sofa so that when you sit down, bam, there you go. You're right across from the entertainment center. And it's still visible anywhere within the living area, but not visible for the driver because that's an obvious safety hazard. Um, the uh, countertop is pretty generous, actually. We've got good countertop space here. Remember that we have that little trash escape door right there. And we even have a little countertop extension for extra space. You see we've got plenty of drawer space in here. You can really keep this thing packed up. If you're going to be on the road a lot, this is an awesome option because you can keep this RV totally loaded to the gills with just an incredible amount of stuff with all the storage space that's in here. Um, I do like the very residential style uh, sink setup that they have here. It's very home-like and plenty of outlets all over the place. There's also some outlets, I believe, under the cabinetry here. Um, as we're uh, moving to the rear area, you're going to see uh, we've got like a normal middle shower like you find on most motorhomes because it's an incredibly space efficient design. But um, we, as we come back, I want to point out this is a brand new mattress. Previous owners uh, look like they never used it. This is uh, the mattress that they swapped in. Um, my uh, estimation here is uh, they had their, their own mattress they preferred to use and they just had this thing tucked away somewhere. So good for you guys. You're not sleeping on someone else's used mattress. And holy crap windows in this bedroom. There, there is no shortage of good viewing in this bedroom. And again, window opens for ventilation. Ventilation, there's another one over here for ventilation. You've got little spotlights for reading. This is, you can light this bedroom up like a Christmas tree. And bang, let's shed some light on the situation here. All LED interior lights, well not all. There's a couple incandescents I found like over the bunk bed there's an incandescent. But I noticed they even have lighted closets. And they are cedar lined, which I was pretty impressed with. I thought that was a slick little thing they put in there. Um, good extra dresser drawer space down here as well. Little, not not very photogenic or photo friendly, but there nonetheless. All cabinet doors are hardwood. They have hidden hinge doors. Hidden hinges are better because if I open this, 
it closes itself. If this bounces open going down the road, it wants to close itself. Give you a quick peek at the bathroom here, and I think we're about ready to wrap her up. If you have any questions, definitely give us a call. 800-256-5196. We are Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Top five dealer in one of the number one states for RV sales. We work on a volume basis. We cut fair deals. We take trades. We do financing. We're an easy place to work with, guys. We're a family-owned dealership. I'm one of the owner's boys. My brother's our service manager. My dad runs the place. I mean, you know, we, we go camping, too, you know. We all go together at the same time. We camp just like you. We invest our money just like you. We try to have a good eye for product, and we try to present things fairly. So if you have any questions, always give us a call. I, I don't know if I shared 16,075 miles, by the way. I wish I'd have done that sooner. But there you have it. Um, take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.